Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel today. I have another video for you. Today is about hormone health, in particular um, estrogen deficiency, testosterone dominance, um, just supplements that can help support your uh, health if you have PCOS. Now, I am trying to um, start a series where I share just a couple supplements for each condition because one of the biggest questions that I get are, what are the top five supplements for leaky gut? Or what are the top five supplements for this condition or that condition? And it, it's never as simple as just taking some supplements. When you have a health condition, you want to address everything and get to the root cause. So these videos are going to be more for just a little bit of nutritional support to help you feel a little bit better while you're working on the root cause. So today's more about PCOS and testosterone excess and today I'm going to be sharing with you some supplements that can help to balance your PCOS a little bit more because very quick very briefly I mean we do tend to have quite a bit of an insulin issue we are usually insulin resistant when we are when we have PCOS so PCOS really is an insulin type condition so balancing your blood sugar um, making your body more recept um, receptive to insulin while also lowering excess androgens in the body is the main focus for any PCOS protocol so the supplements I have today are going to be helping with that um, I'm gonna just jump on in and bef uh, before I go through the supplements I want you guys to know that I do have a community membership platform I'm linking it down below where um, you pay a very very small monthly fee which just helps us with maintenance costs and you get access to a crazy amount of information including lots of resources for PCOS for uh, female hormones and there's also weekly or sorry monthly bi-monthly live um, you know Q&A calls and all kinds of content on there and there's also forums where you guys can ask me in-depth questions and get in-depth answers so it's really personal um, we get to know each other a lot more and it's just a place where there's a lot more knowledge than what I've shared on YouTube so I would love for you guys to join me there and check that out now without further ado let's get into the supplements so I have five supplements and then two bonus because I feel like five isn't enough. <laughs> so I'm going to show you my favorite supplements first. And the first one for PCOS would be inositol. That is this supplement here. This one is my go-to because this is from Pure Encapsulations. I will link them all down below. This, if you have PCOS and you're to take one supplement, drop everything and take inositol. Like that is it. And the reason is because inositol helps to balance your blood sugar. And again, PCOS is an insulin issue or condition. So you have to be supporting your blood sugar levels. And just to read you a little bit of what's on the package, there's a lot more benefits to taking inositol, but just to read you a little bit about what's on the package, it says that inositol aids in the management of PCOS by helping to restore normal ovarian function. And it aids in the management of PCOS by um, reducing oxidative stress. It also helps to restore ovulation and oocyte quality and normalizes menstrual cycle irregularities. It also helps to reduce serum testosterone in women with PCOS. And that's the key. It aids in the management of PCOS's hormonal and metabolic conditions by promoting healthy glucose metabolism. So as you can see, incredibly important supplement. Now, with PCOS, you don't just want to balance your blood sugar and lower testosterone, which testosterone is at the very root of a lot of issues with PCOS. When we have too much testosterone, we end up with acne, which is very common for PCOS women. You end up with male pattern balding, which is called androgenic alopecia. That's also very common to PCOS women. You end up with very long or irregular cycles, another symptom of PCOS and the list goes on. So we want to increase our estrogen levels, absolutely. And Nositol helps with that, helps balance your blood sugar levels, um, but it also helps reduce oxidative stress, which is also another um, root of PCOS is that we're very inflamed and we're susceptible to so many different conditions. Um, different types of cancers are one of them of, of female hormonal cancers and we need to reduce this oxidative stress um, and inositol can help with that. So just with this video can go for hours if I really wanna dive deep into PCOS. I'm trying to keep it more simple, but explaining to you the importance of something like inositol. Another supplement that I highly suggest if you have PCOS is zinc. 
So this is the only one I had on hand to show you right now. Um, this is what I actually give to my kids. It's Douglas Labs Zinc Lozenges. So it's actually just like a little white tablet that they can suck on. I do take this too once in a while, but um, there's another one called Opti Zinc from Douglas Labs. I will link down below. When you have PCOS, you want to be doing about 30 milligrams of zinc or follow the bottle dosage. Uh, zinc will help with um, reducing your serum testosterone levels again, which is so important. It's one of the most important things to do that in balancing your blood sugar again when you have polycystic ovarian syndrome. So zinc is important and helps helpful to reduce those testosterone levels and it can help over time with your hair fall, with acne and everything else. So those are the first two supplements. The next one is liposomal glutathione. So this is <laughs> my superstar supplement. If you guys know me or have been following me for long enough, you know how much I love glutathione and all my clients have it in their protocols. It almost all, it is such an important supplement. So glutathione, what does it do? Pretty much everything. So just to quickly, briefly touch on this, I do have a video all about glutathione, but specifically it is the most used antioxidant by the body by far. And it helps us with detoxification, with renewing our cells and all that good stuff. But more importantly, it helps our methylation pathways and it helps our estrogen detoxification pathways. And I made a video um, talking about the different ways on YouTube, the different ways that estrogen can get metabolized. If you are not methylating your estrogen, um, it becomes carcinogenic and toxic. And so what our body will try to do is use up things like glutathione to help um, excrete the excess estrogen safely with, without it causing any toxic effects in our body. And glutathione has to be present in the system for that to happen. So it's absolutely important for methylation. If you have any genetic SNPs that indicate poor methylation or hormonal um, metabolism, you need to be on glutathione. But also if you have any sort of autoimmune or inflammatory conditions, you also need to be on glutathione. It's the most important in terms of inflammation, uh, detoxification, methylation, metabolism, glutathione is at the very, very source. So this is the one I like. It's liposomal, which means it's extremely easy to absorb. It's a pricier supplement, but I promise you so worth it. Um, it does last you a couple months as well. And so that's also linked down below. So supplement number five, I would say is probably a liver support. So this is LVDTX from Douglas Labs. There are a lot of liver loving supplements out there. You ideally wanna find something that would have choline in it, which this one does, which helps to support your liver when you have PCOS, you need your liver to constantly be turning out the excess estrogen and keeping your body in balance. So really, really important to be on some kind of liver support. I also, with my clients, will do homeopathic liver and kidney drainage. Um, but that is very specific to the individual, so I'm not sharing that in this video, but just a basic starting point could be something like this LVDTX from Douglas Labs. And if you're wondering what's in it, there's milk thistle, dandelion, choline, inositol, but just a small amount. Um, there's L-methionine, globe artichoke, so a great just overall liver support. So the very last one that I want to share with you is methylation support from Genestra. Now this one is a very specific supplement to the individual. Um, if you have MTHFR or if you have any sort of um, SNPs in your COM-T pathway, your, um, your PEMT pathways, your MTHFR genetic uh, pathways, then you want to be on methylation. Or if you feel like you're the type of person who um, has you know, mood swings, irritability, poor detoxification abilities, um, toxicity built up in the system, methylation is a good idea to take. This is from Genestra. And essentially what it is, is some of the essential B vitamins that your body needs to have healthy methylation. Essentially for any toxin or hormone or anything to be excreted from the system, it needs to, a methyl group needs to be added onto that compound or it gets stuck in our bodies and it's very toxic. So our body needs to have healthy methylation and to do that, it needs specific B vitamins like B6 and B12, um, betaine, choline. So this one's just a supplement that has all of it in there for you. Um, the one thing though is, is if you have things like Lyme disease, if you're really toxic or if you're taking a methylation support and feel like your symptoms are getting a bit worse, then you might be taking too much and you might need to ease your way into it. So work with a practitioner, but definitely consider some methylation support.
Now for two bonus supplements I want to share with you. The first one is Ayur Ashwagandha from Douglas Labs. I love this one so much. I take this every single night, an hour before bed, and it helps to reduce our cortisol levels. And again, with PCOS, which is something that I have and you'll have for your whole life and it's something that you just have to manage, um, you can definitely improve it dramatically, but it's something that is still there. Um, even if you're really healthy. So to keep, you know, if you have PCOS, you tend to have, um, you know, elevated cortisol levels, which makes it harder for you to fall asleep at night. And not sleeping at night ends up actually increasing your estrogen, um, your testosterone levels. It lowers your estrogen levels, creates more inflammation, gut dysbiosis, and a whole bunch of other issues. So sleep is so important. And one of the ways to make sure you're getting good quality sleep is by reducing your cortisol levels before bedtime. So ashwagandha can help with that it helps to regulate your cortisol it helps to um, support your thyroid as well and another condition that pcos women have is usually thyroid imbalance um, it's anti-inflammatory so one of my favorite things to take and i like that it's in capsule form because for me I don't like the taste of ashwagandha. I find it a little bit bitter and off, so I don't really want to taste it too much. So I like how it's in a capsule. So that's the first one. The second bonus supplement you guys seen on here before, and that is GI Fortify. This is something I will do several times a week. It is from Pure Encapsulations, and it is essentially an antihistamine for the gut. So when we have histamine in our gut, which is where the majority of our histamine is, we end up with dysbiosis, chronic inflammation, leaky gut, food sensitivity, Activities. And as we're more inflamed, our, we start to gain more weight, it disrupts our hormones, we end up with more testosterone, and it just throws off you know, our whole PCOS cycle, we end up throwing off our ovulation, etc. So it's really important for us to keep the histamine and inflammation in our gut down, and I like to do use GI Fortify for that. It's a powder that has things like marshmallow root, psyllium husk, aloe vera gel, really soothing um, herbs to keep inflammation low, but a lot of fiber to help keep our colon moving, help 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 us have healthy bowel movements, um, help de de to detoxify any excess toxins, um, push out pathogens, really important. And I find that like if I have a day where I've had, a week where I've had too many nightshades and I start to feel my histamine levels climb up a bit and I get a little itchy, I take this and I notice that instantly the, the itchiness on my fingers or whatever goes down the next day. So it's really powerful. That's what I wanted to share with you. So that's pretty much it. The last thing I would suggest doing if you guys have PCOS or too much testosterone, not enough estrogen, and men can have this issue as well. If this is you, you want to be drinking spearmint tea, do about two cups a day um, or one big cup a day. Um, spearmint tea can help to lower testosterone levels, which in turn can help increase your estrogen levels as well. So that's what I suggest. This protocol can help with hair loss, with acne, with irregular cycles, hormonal imbalances, sleep issues, but obviously this is just the tip of the iceberg. If you have PCOS, you want to be doing a candida and parasite type cleanse. You want to be doing liver and kidney drainage, working really deeply with your hormones and checking into things like heavy metals, viruses, etc. So this is not a perfect, complete protocol, but it is some supplements you guys can consider taking if you have PCOS or hormonal imbalances to help support your body. So I hope that you enjoy. I've tried to cram as much information as I can in a short 13 minutes, but I am ending the video here. If you want more information and a specific protocol for PCOS, head to holisticspring.org, which is my membership platform, and you guys will have a lot more information there, and you get one-on-one -on -one help from me. So that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.